Um, does Huzur have any um, nice memories to share with us on his days in um, the Jamia Ahmadiyya? In Jamia Ahmadiyya, yes, has many, many nice memories. Not just one. It's a very long story. When I went to Jamia Ahmadiyya, <laughs> The Jamia Ahmadiyya was a makeshift arrangement. The Langar Khana for Yalsa Salana was turned into a Jamia Ahmadiyya. The Maath had not enough funds at that time to build a separate Jamia Ahmadiyya. So we were uh, in Camp Tetra University campus eh? with the news ovens, underground ovens not yet closed. They were kept exactly because every time you have to spend more if you dig them out again. They just repaired just before the Yalsa. So we had to be very careful in that amount of our chairs to move them. Sometimes somebody moved the chair and went into the ground. <laughs> but anyway, this, this is just one story. Now the roofs were mud roofs, which during a heavy rain used to leak heavily and the difference between the inside room and outside room was that uh, I, that was told by a boy who moved outside in the open and uh, I inquired for him, why did he done it? It was raining very hard and he was uh, sleeping outside. So he said the only difference between inside and outside was that the inside was muddy then. <laughs> <laughs> outside was a clean day. So we had many, many interesting things to remember during Jamia days. We used to make jokes and laughs and training of, of species is very interesting. One of my brothers once thought that he does not have to prepare for species. He will do it on the examination offhand. He can, it's easy to talk. So then he thought of a, of a device. He decided to talk, begin the speech with a joke, of which he was an expert. So the moment he started the joke, he fell into the right gear and gained full confidence. So everybody laughed and it was a very good speech. Everybody applauded. And then suddenly he thought that I am not quoting any Quran, Quran or Hadith. So he started <laughs> reading the Quran which is wrong. <laughs> His memory was faulty and was reading a verse absolutely wrong. So people had a big laugh. In the beginning they thought this was also a joke. Then he realized <laughs> that something wrong has been done by him. So he started trembling and stuttering and things. So there are many interesting stories about Jamia, which I remember. <laughs> I think let me, let me come back to you again now. For the class, otherwise we will spend all the time in this Jamia. <laughs> well, just to cheer you up, I'll add just one more joke eh, for the Jamia days. And the interesting thing is that all these jokes are real. No falsehood. Absolutely correct as happening. But there were funny things used to happen. Once one of my younger brothers, in extremely cold weather, was walking from his home to Jamia, when on the way he met a small poor boy who was completely naked, wearing nothing. So he took pity on him and he stopped pause on the way and said, poor boy, don't you feel cold? You're standing all night. He said, he laughed back. He said, don't you see I'm wearing a cap? <laughs> so we got in your eyes. Well, you guess. 
Like, how do you know you get married? 